Hi all, Melissa Murray with Melissa Murray's Transformative Guidance for Life, Business, and Career Coach. And I am here to share with you how you can utilize one video across multiple platforms. And we're going to start with TikTok. And the reason why we go from TikTok is that we can remove the watermark. And from TikTok, you can keep the captions so you don't have to re-edit the wording, the timing, you get to keep the audio or the music, whatever it is that the little um, gift that you may have put in there and you will be able to download it and then reload it to Instagram. And if you are doing this from your phone, your Instagram reels can actually feed into your meta Facebook as long as your Facebook and Instagram are connected through the account center. So when you go ahead and you start in Facebook, or I'm sorry, TikTok, you can remove the icon, the watermark. If you were to try from Instagram first, you will not be able to remove the watermark. So um, start there and I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen. And we're gonna start in TikTok. So this is, um, when you go to your TikTok, you have to actually go into your videos. And this is a little video I did earlier just to show you how to do this. You have to actually open the video. When you're from your phone, um, same thing, but over to the right on your actual computer, you see here that says copy link. Now, when you're in your phone, you, there should be like a share button or a copy button that you can go to get the link and then it'll show you a little icon of like two little connected chains and that means link. So that's what you're gonna copy from your phone. Then you're going to go to Google and you're gonna type in SnapTik, S-N-A-P-T-I-K. There is an app, you can download that to your phone so that you always have it. And when you open the page, you're going to go straight, and as soon as you open it, it's gonna say paste TikTok link here. Go ahead and paste that in. And then you're going to go ahead and hit download. And as you see, click this download again. And this is just a little ad. You can ignore that. And right up at the top, you'll see that the download was created. So it's saved in your downloads. Now, what you then want to do is go ahead over to your Instagram. And in this case, I'm going to start fresh and you have to actually be on your page. When you're on your page, you wanna go down to this plus sign. The little plus sign is how you're gonna create. If you're on your phone, it will be at the bottom or the top. You can do it in both spots. As long as you click um, from your phone that you're going to reels. When you're on your phone and you tap that plus button, it'll come up stories, post, reels. You want to select the reels button, the long little ribbon on the bottom. So in my case, I can go ahead and drag from my downloads the snap tick right here. And in your, and I'm dragging it there. In your phone, it'll actually go from your gallery or wherever your downloads go to. And then I'm going to hit next. And I don't need to trim anything, but you see that I can plant myself flowers, right? Anybody out there who knows the Miley Cyrus song, Flowers, she says, I can buy myself flowers. Where in this case, I'm showing my garden. So I can plant myself flowers, right? Uh, dig myself, whatever. Okay, let's keep going. <laughs> I can sing better than that. I'm just joking around right now. So write caption. If you go back into your Instagram, I don't believe you can copy it once you've done it, but in your phone. But from the computer, I, you can actually copy that. And I'm going to go straight in here and paste. How to help you um, get that to work from your phone is when, before you hit post on TikTok, you want to go ahead and hit, uh, you want to copy your text that you're putting in, your hashtags. Hashtags actually are not required anymore in Meta for Facebook and Instagram, just keywords. So whatever it is that you want to share, uh, make sure that your description 
is meaningful. And, um, and then go ahead and paste it either into your notepad or paste it into a Google Doc. I like to encourage Google Docs because you have it, whether you're on a computer or your phone. And um, if you did it on your notepad, it's only on your phone. And if you're utilizing a computer, you can't you can't access it without retyping everything. So paste it into a notepad, paste it into a Google Doc, and then you can go ahead and copy and paste it into every platform that you're going to. So I'm going to go ahead and hit share. Had I been from my phone, this would automatically go to my Facebook page account that I have connected here. And as we wait, all right, this your reel has been shared. If I were to go into my Facebook page and on here, I go into my main profile and I want to, can I select a real start from here? I can. Sorry, I cannot select a reel directly from there. So I will go ahead and select these nine dots over here on the left. This again is from your desktop, from your phone, it's so much simpler. Go ahead and hit reel. Now I can add my video again. Because I already have it saved somewhere, I can drop it back in there. There it is. And I will go ahead and hit next. Describe your reel. Go ahead and paste that description. And again, it'll have all your hashtags, your entire content. When it's more meaningful, it's just, it's more important that you copy and paste it. <clears throat> now, in this case, I did not add music, but had I added it in TikTok, then I would have, I probably should have done the flower song from Miley Cyrus, but this was just for training purposes um, that I would, it would already be there. So you can spare yourself. The only extra step you have to do is pasting the details. So it's so important that you don't, you're saving time. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit post. And there it is on Facebook. Do you see how fast that was? Now, um, obviously I didn't show you when I added the text, how long that can take. Or um, one of my previous videos, I actually had the text come up on a certain duration on this image, then on this image, then on this image, and the last image. So that all saved. I didn't have to redo that. I've done it where so many times it took me forever to go ahead and go from one platform the, to the other. I didn't know that you could do it this way. So that's why starting off TikTok is so key. So I'm gonna go ahead and stop sharing. And, and in such a short time, I was able to go from TikTok, to Instagram, to Facebook, and you increase your reach. So why do you wanna use multiple platforms? Because your reach is different. So I had a video the other day that on TikTok had over 7,000 views and on Facebook was like 140. So it just goes to show that your audience is different and it's okay that in one platform you don't get a lot of hits and another you do. And it also gives you feedback so that you know what your audience is looking for. I'm Melissa Murray. Follow me for live videos every Thursday Eastern time, or you can hit the follow button to find more free training tools on how to grow your business.